so here I am. This is uh, the Basilica uh, di San Pietro in Vincoli, which uh, I think means the Basilica of St. Peter in Chains. I'm assuming that Vincoli is a uh, is um <coughs> is uh, uh based on the latin there but i could be wrong um it's a sizable church inside very rectangular uh nice little area a sort of like an open plan chapel behind the um the high altar uh, where, in fact, they were doing communion in English, um, which was a bit of a surprise, because I suddenly found myself knowing what they were saying. Uh, so, obviously, all these churches are free entry, and I'm on my way to uh, the sort of Palatine area, because uh, I wanted to do Roman Rome today. Um, so I'm probably going to go down there, get something to drink. Yes, yeah, so that little hot dog thingy. And then head back to the main road that leads to the Palatine, which is just at the end. You can almost see it through the trees there. As the average church takes me about 20 minutes, you might like to know that the planned route for tomorrow's journey uh, includes two churches <laughs> that I haven't got been in yet before getting to the Vatican. This is what we're planning to do. Um, a reversal, in fact, of this very journey. So it's from the hotel to um, Roma Termini, Roma Termini direct to Mary Major, Mary Major direct down here to um, the uh, two churches that I want to see plus the, um, there's a museum as well, uh, but it includes the Imperial Forum. Uh, I didn't realise that was separate. So, there's that. Uh, and then, that goes straight on to the uh, Vita Emanuel Road, which goes all the way uh, to the river. And then, I think I'm going to do Castel San Angelo first. It's a museum, but I would enjoy that more than the Vatican museums, I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and on we go. Uh, so I think I'd enjoy that more than the Vatican Museums. So I'm going to do that. Then St Peter's Basilica itself, probably in the afternoon, because if the Pope does do an audience, it will be in the morning. And that will, of course, whilst that be lovely to see, I won't be able to see anything apart from a dot on, in the window. And uh, well, St Peter's Square will be in turmoil. So best to avoid that at that point in time, I think. Um, so, St Peter's Square and Basilica then. And then if there's time, the Vatican Museums. The only reason I want to go into the Vatican Museums is because you can then get in to see parts of the Apostolic Palace like uh, the Sistine Chapel, etc. I'm not really a museum person, so I'm not terribly bothered about missing it, to be honest with you. 
and then my plan after that is to come back via the little island in the middle of the Tybor which looks like it does have a um, a church of some kind on it which I'd like to see <coughs> and then that's it And the reason for that is that my uh, camera, my main camera, Cam 6, played up. Uh, unfortunately, it wouldn't charge. Although the, the other camera will charge, camera 6 wouldn't charge. And so that meant that I only had one camera for every day. And of course, I was um, using that during the day. So it was running out of charge at night. And then I had to charge it up uh, for the day after. So I wasn't able to film in the evening. So I'm going to recap the days now. Uh, day two. I'm just getting my notes so that I can remember exactly what I did. <laughs> uh, day two was going to be my Roman day um, and so uh, I needed to get up quite early. I generally um, set my alarm for six o'clock uh, and so I was always up very early. Breakfast here at Hotel Androtti starts at seven o'clock. Um, and you go down and you go into the, the, the breakfast room and it's self-service and it's quite peculiar really because they have all sorts of stuff there uh, they have um, a cooked breakfast area which has things like sausage uh, and egg but then it also has um, rice and uh, mixed sort of beans and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if that's because there's a, a lot of Oriental people staying here or, or what. I stayed away from the uh, cooked breakfast because it didn't look very appetizing. <laughs> uh, so I had some of the sausage, but other than that, uh, I st stayed away from that. The rest of it was mostly continental, so there were lots of different types of uh, breads and uh, you could toast stuff if you wanted to and then there was lots of meats and cheeses to go with it. Uh, there was also an area that was dedicated for salads um, and it had olives as well and, and stuff like that in. And then uh, there was the cereal, which, um, you know, you had a tiny little bowl, and I do mean a tiny little bowl, not much bigger than a sort of um, a plastic cup, uh, shall we say, and you used uh, a teaspoon. Now, I always had uh, a cereal and I always had the, uh, the breads and cheeses, and that's about it. Um, that's, that's generally what I had. Uh, and I'd sit in the other room, because you could sit in the room where there was the self-service, uh, or you could sit in a little, little bit round the side. So I used to sit in the little bit round the side, and I, eventually I found my table, so to speak, uh, and, I, uh, and I sat in the same place. Then I headed out to the Palatine um, area, and that is quite a long way away. Uh, it's also uh, far south. It is uh, where are we? It is quite far south. What you have to do is you make your way uh, from 
Roma Termini to the Colosseum and then you're into the Palatine area. Now there is a big area of parkland that's even further south than that that according to this has things like Terma di Car Calia uh, which is the bath, which is a bath, Terma is a bath. Um, Parco di Porta Campana which is uh, Porta is a gate so that's a gate on on the uh, on the Roman walls. Um, Testaccio, uh, which is where I went to the pyramids, that's also uh, just further, just slightly further south than uh, the um, than the Palatine area. So I went into the archaeological area uh, of the Palatine first. Uh, which is the main Palatine Hill. It's where a lot of the uh, it's where a lot of the ruins are that are not part of the Forum. They're actually part of the Flavian Palace uh, complex. And you basically you go in, you get in with the same ticket that you get in to the Colosseum, and the whole lot, uh, Palatine Colosseum and Roman Forum just costs you 12 euros, that's it, uh, for one visit to each. Uh, that is spectacular value, it really is. Um, so I wandered around the, the area of the Palatine uh, and I slowly made my way north up the hill to the top uh, and I stopped at various little places on the way uh, I'm not sure whether I covered all of it or, or not. Uh, I think I got to most bits. There were various maps around, so you could see sort of what you were doing. I started with Aqua Claudia, which is a, a viaduct. Uh, and then I got to the main Flavian Palace sort of complex. Uh, and you're on the top and you look over the Palatine Stadium which is basically a sort of um, a long, elongated amphitheatre. You can't get down to it, but you can see it from above. Uh, and then you go across to the other side, uh, and you've got Domus Severus, which is the, the room of Severus. Terma di Masenzio, which is a bath complex. Again, you can only see that from above. You don't actually go down to it, uh, but you see it from above. Uh, Domus Augusta, uh, um, and then you uh, have to come back to the Flavian Palace. So you've covered the area to the uh, east by then. So that's the eastern side of the Palatine from south to north. And then you get to the free. Uh, museum on the Palatine which is lovely it's really nice uh, and I looked around that um, and then you head further north and now you're actually going up the hill uh, and it's quite steep uh, you get to Casa di Griffe which is the uh, room of uh, Griffins Domus Flavius um, and the Flavius courtyard uh, that Neo Domus Transitoria, these are all basically sort of rooms off a square courtyard.